Hey guys, sorry about my weird background today. Have a look at this. This is the moment where Boston DJ Matt Siegel apparently resigned live on air yesterday because he couldn't make jokes about Demi Lovato coming out as non-binary, non-gender. So this is a recording of it. This seems to be the only recording available of this moment. So the quality is not great. It's about two minutes long. I've done my best I can with the audio. Have a watch and a listen. Here it is. They pulled the plug on me and they said, you cannot talk about what you're talking about. Again, I like my boss personally. I do. I'm very fond of him. He's been very nice to me. It's not personal. It's professional. He said, yes, you want me talking about this. So basically, if I talk about right wing, like if I'm, if I'm left wing and I go anti-Trump, I, I get in trouble. But today, I was anti Now, Matt Siegel makes it very clear in that bit of audio that he feels like it was okay for him to attack Trump, but he was being basically berated by the powers that be for effectively making jokes about things the other side don't want him to make jokes about. Okay to make jokes about Trump, but you can't make jokes about Biden, if you know what I mean, that kind of thing. And this does raise the whole question of what can comedians joke about now? And is it okay to make jokes about these kind of things? Or not. I think it's worth bearing in mind that Matt Siegel's 71. You know, he's a different generation, so he's going to approach it in the way that's typical of his generation. But also, what's wrong with questioning things? I don't understand. Now, the trouble is, in this particular case, I don't have a recording of what he said exactly about Demi Lovato. I don't know what jokes he made. They don't seem to be available. I can't find audio of that. But assuming it wasn't too offensive, and bear in mind, he hosts a morning show, so it's probably not going to be that offensive. You kind of think, well, what could he have possibly said that was so bad that the powers that be said, no, you, you must stop right now, right now. Because if you're like me, and you think, well, I don't necessarily understand this whole non-binary thing, and I've also worked as a comedian, I still do when gigs come back, I hope I will, it's an obvious thing you're going to make jokes about, not because you're being cruel, but just because it's something that's in the popular culture, and comedians make jokes about popular culture. They make jokes about what's happening in contemporary life. I don't see what's wrong with that. So I don't know what he said that could have been so offensive, but I can certainly think about material that could come from the whole, well, I'm not a man, I'm not a woman, I I'm non-gender. I mean, immediately I'm thinking, well, if you're not a man, not a woman, and you're, 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 you're non-gender, then which bathroom do you use? if you're in a public place. I'm immediately thinking along those lines, because surely if you're in a place where there's a male loo, female loo, which one do you go to? Do you do, you do both? Do you go to the loo in one and wash your hands in the other? I know I'm being facetious, but that's kind of the way a comedian would think. So I don't know how offensive he could have possibly been on a morning show. I don't know exactly what he said, but it seems a bit 
kind of silly. You know, if things are happening in popular culture, we want comedians to make jokes about them. And if we find them funny, fine. If we don't find them funny, then you can berate and you can criticise, but isn't that just part of what happens? Anyway, there you go. Thought you'd find this interesting. Read more about it online. Very interesting case. And let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. Bye.